placenta's position affects your baby's movement and also the type of childbirth you will have. Placenta is known to supply the baby with the necessary nutrients and oxygen for the development of the baby in the womb. So the placenta's position can be detected through an ultrasound. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how the placenta's position affects your baby's movements, the, the type of delivery you will have, and also the different types of placenta positions we have. Number one is fonda placenta. This is the most common position when the placenta implants into the top of the womb. And this puts you at risk of premature rupture of the membrane, that is breaking your water before 37th week. And this position, you can easily feel the movement of your baby. Number two is anterior placenta. This is when the placenta implants into the front of your womb. This does not negatively impact the pregnancy or birth, but may cause the following. Number one, it will make it harder to feel your baby movement. Number two, it will make your baby to stay in the same direction with you which will increase the chances of having a longer and or more painful label and number three there is going to be more feeling of back pain the top type of placenta is the posterior placenta that is the placenta has implanted onto the back of your womb so this gives you the advantage of feeling your baby's movement earlier and stronger and also it as well allow your baby to get into the most optimum position for child pets. The fourth one is the lateral placenta position. With this position, the placenta implants onto the left or the right side of the womb. So this put the woman at greater risk of having a breech baby. But this position is not a common position. And the fifth position is placenta previa. This is when the placenta implants over the cervix and this increases the woman's risk of having vaginal bleeding. Possible causes of placenta previa are uh, number one is multiparity that is the woman is having twins or triplets number two is when the mother's age is greater than 35 years number three is when the woman has a previous placenta previa number four is when the woman had previous c-section and number five is when the woman smokes during pregnancy when a woman has placenta previa it will be too dangerous to deliver through the vagina so c-section will be required and any woman that is carrying a placenta previa is also advised to have a bed rest or stay in the hospital from 34th week of pregnancy in order to prevent complications. Problem with placenta occurs suddenly and are often severe. So you should call your healthcare provider if you have vaginal bleeding, if there is fast and constant contraction, if there is severe abdominal pain or back pain, and if there is decreased in fetal movements.